Hi, I'm Ann Mosier and I work at Unity Point Health at Finley Hospital here in Dubuque, Iowa. I am one of the nursery NICU nurses here at the hospital and we are recognizing October for the SIDS Awareness Month. So it is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Okay, so as mentioned before, SIDS stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. It is basically the unexplained death of a newborn up until one year of age. So it happens mostly when they're sleeping. So we like to review the ABCs, alone back crib. So you're going to want to have your baby in a crib or a bassinet. It can be in the same room as you, just not in the same bed as you. Um, the other part of it is B, which is you want to place the baby on their back. C is in the crib. So within the crib, you don't want any sort of loose bedding, any sort of blankets, stuffed animals, padding, bumpers, anything like that that could increase the risk of suffocation to your child. So what we do is we just have a nice fitted sheet in our crib here. I'll remove the baby for just one moment. A nice fitted sheet, no other loose, loose bedding. You want the mattress to be firm. And then we also, if you deliver here, we do uh, hand out these sleep, sleep sacks. These are wonderful, wonderful sleep sacks that we can use to swaddle up baby. Makes it safe for sleeping. It comes along with some of the directions too, depending on your baby's age. Since the baby can't roll to begin with, you are able to tuck in their arms and hands to reduce, to reduce the startle reflex. So we're going to tuck our baby in here. Comes with little armholes. These are nice too because they're warm in those winter months coming up. Although you don't want to overheat your baby either. So dress to um, what you set your temp at in your home as well not too warm. Okay, so we have him all zipped up here and then we can put his arms down and swaddle here like this since he is not of age yet to be rolling on his own. And he's all tucked in. So I here I have him placed on his back safely. Now when they tend to begin rolling after you're doing lots of tummy time with them uh, and everything during the day, you are able to have their hands up and swaddle beneath their arms there so that they can raise their arms and they can turn over in the crib when they're able to on their own. 